more vaccines, uh, availability is going to open up. So if you don't see yours um, in that kind of light green color, just keep checking back. So let me go ahead and show you the actual website. Um, so you can go directly, again, that website's gonna be that michigan.gov slash COVID vaccine. You can type that in directly to your um, browser or you can just Google um, Michigan COVID vaccine, which is an easy way to get there as well. This very first one's gonna get you where you need to go. So you can see the picture is a little bit different at the top, um, but it's the same thing, find a site in your county. I do want to point out that this website in general is super helpful for all things coronavirus. So um, there's going to be a pull down menu for all sorts of resources, um, you know, just for residents in general or different types of employment. And then over here is that COVID vaccine that we um, can go to this way as well. So find a site in your county. If somebody contacts you for an appointment, you can just say, oh, no, I, I already went through Meyer." Right, so right. That yeah, I would definitely, and if you're moving to or moving back to Midland anyway, we can definitely go through that because I think it, you know you're going to have residents there. Michigan is one where they most counties are asking if you live or work in that county. Um, so you would, if you're going to do through Meyer, you would complete the pre-registration process online, but you can also call your Meyer pharmacy. So you know, not everybody that we know has uh, internet access or computer. Um, so it's important to kind of, I like to highlight these numbers as an option as well. Um, but it also you can help people pre-register for lists like this, right? Like if you have a neighbor that doesn't have internet access, but you have all of her information, contact information being the most important, then you can go ahead and just help them get on these lists because they don't need the computer to get the vaccine. They just need the computer to get on some of these. To make the appointment, right. So as long as they can show up and be them, then it's fine to help them out. Um, but this is essentially what it, it walks you through a pretty, most of these questionnaires or these surveys are very similar. Um, they collect your age, your contact information, um, what you do for a living to see if you're in one of those essential worker categories. Um, right. So you just, and pre-existing or, or comorbidities. And then find a site in your county. So one of the things that you can do, you click on that, and you should all be able to see sort of a list of counties now. Because we're talking about Oakland today, you can see sort of at the right side of my screen, there's Oakland and there's a phone number. And when you get to Oakland, you will see that there's a uh, short survey. And this short survey uh, is actually important for you to fill out. You can see it says, thank you for your interest in the COVID-19 vaccine. Please compete, complete this brief questionnaire. And when you are eligible to receive a vaccine, uh, you'll be contacted. So you need to fill this out. So first of all, you want to live in Oakland County. That'll be helpful. And then you'll go through here and you'll you'll put your you'll put your you know your, your name, your address, your city, your state, your zip code, your email address, and your phone number. Email address, phone number are very important because that is how you will be contacted. So make sure that you type in your email address correctly, you type in your phone number correctly, and if you have a phone that can receive text messages, put click yes. And the one of the three ways that you could possibly be contacted is email, is phone, and if text, if you answer this question, yes, you might also get a text. Also important to Okay, I was just gonna say, my husband and I live in a senior living facility like Miss Hamilton in uh, Georgia. So we got our first shot last Wednesday. CVS came on site. We didn't know- Oh, wow. That that, we didn't know that that was gonna happen because I started looking and going to the uh, State Department of Health. But in the meantime, our apartment manager told us to fill out the paperwork and CVS would come to us. So we had it last Wednesday and then uh, later in February, we'll get our second shot. And like Ms. Harris said, it was no problem. Um, it went smoothly and we just waited our turn. That's amazing. I'm so glad that they were able to coordinate that on site. How simple and straightforward. That's amazing. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I had heard that Walgreens, I'm in Wisconsin, and Walgreens was doing like long-term care facilities um, and is working through it. And I believe they will be opening up like regular um, vaccine appointments to the general public when the supply is an, an, issue, an issue. But Wisconsin is, it's not, it's not the best system I've come across so far. Mm. So we all have learning and improvement to do, <laughs> but we'll get there. Um, yeah, any other questions or, or input or experiences you wanna talk about? Great, well, yeah, just to kind of recap, I'll put some information in the after class notes and send those out. Um, I do want to just give you that heads up. We talked about the Georgia session tomorrow um, and then we're doing other states. So if you have people in your family or so,